Good morning. Many of the things starting up right now include theatres where people can now gather back together and go and see their favourite play or musical, particularly in the West End. People are very excited at the moment. Little children excited by the opportunity to go and see uh, one musical perhaps many are not familiar with, and that's Frozen. Frozen's a story of Elsa and her sister uh, who uh, battle with life. And one of the key theme songs in that musical and in the film version that Disney put together is a song called Let It Go. You know, many of us hold on to things and uh, thinking that uh, we need to hold on to them Perhaps it's pain in the past. Someone's done something to us or something's just happened to us. Sometimes we hold on to the, uh, the bitterness of experience and sometimes we even self-curse ourselves and say that we're not going to get over it or we won't get over it. And of course, that's actually quite damaging to our lives, to our experience and in particular to our spirits because God doesn't want the channels of communication between him and us to be blocked up by bitterness, rage, anger, feelings of uh, unforgiveness or unresolved conflict. He wants us to be free of those things. And perhaps one of the best ways of being free is to let it go. Not just let it go in that sort of ethereal, I'm not going to hold on to it anymore, I'm just going to let it out into the atmosphere. But actually, God wants us to let it go to him. To let it go so that he can hold it. To let it go so that Jesus can die for it. It's important for us to let things go because if we don't let them go, they will embitter our hearts. And later in life can cause us to suffer all sorts of physical problems. So if you're struggling today with something in your life that's holding you back or holding you down or turning you inside out, that's another film, then let it go. Let it go to him. Let him come in and heal your heart. Let him come in and defrost you so that you're no longer frozen in your spirit. Let's pray. Father, thank you that we can let it go. We can let it go, not into the atmosphere, not just generally where it's like a boomerang and come back again, but we can let it go into your care, into your arms and onto your cross. Pray, Lord, today that you would help us to let things go and find peace and healing and grace at this time. In Jesus' name, amen.